everybody, welcome back to the channel, Lone Star Gamer Dad here, more Final Fantasy 3 Pixel Remaster, where we're going after Bahamut, Leviathan, and Odin today. Uh, earlier, off camera, when I didn't even know what the heck this place was, I had already explored this cave. I got most of the loot, and it's really just pretty straightforward to get to Bahamut. But I figure, well, I'll turn encounters on to fight his few friends. And see what uh, they give us. Every bit, little bit of XP helps. Especially if we're going to go against Big Bad Zand and uh, whatever his Fiend of Darkness, Cloud of Darkness is. And I'm sticking with the ninja and everything, and, you know, I don't necessarily need these summons, but... Because the party makeup I have right now, with the Eureka weapons, but, uh... I figure... If... There's some chance where I screw up and can't do the fight, I'll at least have these summons that I can switch to Evoker and use to, uh... Add some extra damage. Should my fight see? Yeah, this is where I did not get to everything because once you fight Bahamut, it kicks you back to before this room if you lose. And yeah, he kicked our tails, so not fun. Go Blade Blitz, Ninja! So much damage! So much damage! And everybody's at 3,000 hit points, or close enough, so... This shouldn't be a bad fight. And we leveled up another character. Black Musk, Tetsu, but I already have that. And an Elixir. Elixirs are good. Elixirs are good. Here we go. The voice of Bahamut thunders from outside the cave. Test yourselves in battle! Uh, okay. Remember, this is the dragon that attacked us in his nest. And we ended up getting kicked off the mountain. Or flown off the mountain. Something weird like that. Alright, let's get to it here. Let's poison this fool. Although I probably should have used uh, arrow. But look at that damage, man. This is his worst spell right here, Mega Flare. And as long as I can weather that, we're good. So I'll just heal through it. Wanted to add a little poison in there, you know? Alright, attack, attack, you, Tura, you, Sandara. Only seven hits. Don't know how much health this guy has. Ooh, good, good, good. I'm gonna have to use the other cure though. 500 damage, not bad. I'm gonna have to go with Kiraga. Oh no, we're going to uh, try Blitz. See which one of these big three elements does the most damage. Alright, Blitz, Blitz seemed to do decent. Hey, I appreciate the Mega Flare before I heal. Yeah, see? And then I'll just cast it again. Let's go with Bazaar. Since I have my airship right outside, you know, going to town and using all of our spells on this guy isn't going to be bad because I'll just rest before we go find Leviathan. Which I know where Leviathan is. I'm just not 100% sure on where... Um, Odin is. Come on, he's he's gotta be getting weak. He's gotta be getting low. Hey, there we go. Awesome. Bahamut down. One down, two to go. Give us your power, Bahamut. I wanna summon you. Or at least have the chance to. Yeah, look at all that. Wow, that was a ton.
Aha, obtain the magic summon Bahamur. All right. Okay, so uh, now we'll just go. I'm not going to bother fighting my way out of here. That seems kind of pointless. Fighting through to get to the boss, that's cool, but fighting on the way out doesn't really get me anything. Now we'll go just across the sea to a hidden lake. I haven't been there, but I know where it is. Well, it's not really hidden. It's just uh, in more mountains that you can't cross without the stupid airship. So that's where we're going to go next after we rest. All right, now that we're all rested, don't know if you can see this weird lake in the middle here. Yeah, right here, see? You see that thing that's kind of like floating? The shadow? Yeah. That's exactly what we have to fight. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's not what I meant to do. Thing. Now, we'll disembark. We have to row out there and make Leviathan mad? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, row out there and then get sucked down into Lake Door. All right. Let's turn encounters on and see what kind of treasures are in this place. Wow, four treasure chests. Heavenly Wrath, Earth and Drums, Arctic Wind, and Phoenix Dam. Oh, ho, four more treasure chests. Ouroboros. Uh, no, I'll do poison. We'll try fire since they're water creatures. Fire or electricity one is too. Fire is good. All right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. 56. High potion. High potion. Wow. Three high potions and an elixir. I'll, I'll take the elixir. More chests up here. Oh. All right, we'll just attack, and we'll have you attack, too, because these guys are pretty weak. Look at that. One blade blitz took them all out, but it's easy XP. I think the max level is 99, and the max job level is 99, too. I don't think I'm ever going to get there, because I don't see the Aegis Shield. Let me a scale. Aukus Cider. Because I just don't see the point in trying to be so overpowered, overleveled, that it's a breeze, you know? Because you get there at 99 and it's going to be a pushover fight on the big boss. Which you could do, but it's really not my thing. I like a little bit of a challenge. I like the design of the crab creatures. Or would they be lobsters instead? Like jellyfish slash lobsters. got a shield, but I don't have anybody that uses shields, so it's kind of silly. But... More chests up here. This is much more of a deeper um, cave system than for Bahamut. Bahamut was just pretty straightforward. I guess this one is straightforward too, but there seems more branches than in Bahamut's lair. Cave system to get to Bahamut. All right, you guys, come on. Wait, what's yes? 11k XP per person per black hole. What the heck? Boring hammer. Ref oh, reflective mail. Oh, black musk. All right, so let's see. What the heck is the black hole? Black hole creates a rift to another dimension. I don't. I don't think I want to mess with that. Hmm. All right. Uh, equip. Nobody wants the reflective mail. What? Huh. I mean, I guess. Ah, nobody can use it. Okay. Okay. 
that explains it. Nobody can use it, so that's why. I guess if I had, say, like a Dragoon or something, maybe I could use it, but Reflective Mail would be nice because that's uh, essentially magic reflect on your armor. And that's a good thing. Because that magic reflect spell is really nice. Don't know if any of you remember it from uh, earlier fights. But it's extremely helpful. Level 57! Well, let's kiss Raven's Yawn. Another item of some sort. Ooh, ambushed. Now, Odin, I think. See, I would have thought Leviathan was under the water, under, you know, under the sea. I mean, being the Nautilus. But apparently, um, it's Odin that's under the water under the ocean. I never would have really thought that. You know, Odin being the big lightning slinging mythical god, you know. He's hiding out underwater. Never would have thought that. Under the ocean. Alright, what the heck is this? There's Sea lions. Well, that's definitely a sea lion. Body of a seal and the head of a lion. Okay. These fights are almost too easy at this point. Uh, there's Leviathan down there. Do I even need to heal? I don't think so. Alright, let me turn encounters off so that I can get this fight clean here. I am Leviathan. None but the Chosen of Light may borrow my power. Will you test your merit? Leviathan attacked. Of course we'll test our merits. That's what the heck we're doing here, bro. Alright, we'll attack, attack, uh, poison, magic, Fira. Could he have more hit points than uh, Bahamut? Possibly. I always thought Bahamut was much more powerful than Leviathan, but... Then you get the tsunami, and that explains it, you know? No worse than the Mega Flare, really. And I could cure through that, or heal through that, I should say. Ooh, look at that nasty hit. Crit. The Zaga, don't worry, I got you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's try poison again. Let's see if Blizzaga works. Oof. Eh. Ooh, nice. Leviathan down. Leviathan down. Yeah, he did have less hit points than uh, Bahamut. Alright, now we gotta find. Uh, Got to go back and get our uh, Nautilus and figure out where we're going from there. Except my power is yours. Leviath, summon magic. We'll get this. Yeah. Uh, summon the uh, tidal wave, a tsunami. Tidal wave, tsunami. All right, where is this? Teleport, yes. Teleport out of here. Let's go. Now what I need to do is rest again, and then we will uh, go get our Nautilus and try to find where Odin is. Alright, I think I see, because I used my sight, and there is two spots on the map that was showing a gray pointer, which is here was one of them. I don't know if this is exactly what I'm looking for or not. That's not what I'm looking for there. But I know it's underwater. Just a matter of where. Underwater. 
Ah, could this be it over here somewhere? No. Hmm. Hmm. So all it really said was south of Saronia. Oh, wait, miss this maybe it? Saronia Catacombs, I believe we found it. Although that's not really south of Saronia, but anyway. Alright, here we go. Saronia Catacombs. Will this be where Odin is? I think that's what it said. Saronia Catacombs is where Odin is. Jeez, man, how do I even get... Alright, alright, alright. Kyclops. Well... Oh, uh, let's just, uh, let's try attacking and see the damage our boys do up there. <laughs> One damage, really? Wow. Pushovers, pushovers, pushovers. But, you know, every little bit helps to get that level, so. Reflective meal again. Ostral, ooh. And Fei Chan. I don't know what those are, but Okay. Ten thousand XP for that easy little fight. Diamond Bell? Ooh, I don't want to be over here yet. No, I want to go back around. So this is the way to get out of here. Okay. Easy fights, though. I suppose we could have done this. At, I mean, with the ease we're tearing through these guys, I suppose we could have done this level uh, when we got the Nautilus stuff to begin with, but I didn't even think about it because this is one of those things that, unless you know you can explore underwater, you don't. I wouldn't have thought to explore anything underwater. It didn't, didn't give any suggestion there was anything else under the water. Except for the one temple. Golem staff. But the way these things are falling, it's like... I don't have to even try. <laughs> but Marcus's job levels at 20. Aegis Shield. Gaia Vest. Alright, let's see here. Quick. Nothing new. Nothing new. And nothing new. Okay, so. Any of those items aren't really helpful right now, so that's that's interesting. That's interesting. So I probably would have had uh, would have been good stopgap armor and weapons, I think, for the battles to come. It may have helped against that one insanely difficult boss. I don't know, but we made it, so that's all that matters, right? Hey, that wasn't cool. From the way this is going, though, it seems like Odin's going to be a pushover, too, so. Then all I want to do after that is go back and get, uh, go back into the uh, Eureka and have those guys upgrade my summons. So that way, like I said, if we end up fighting and I need the Evoker, I can have it all set up and ready to go. nothing here except to go up well oh, oh okay uh, I'm guessing this is it uh, it is f a foolish m mortal indeed who dares to serve my slumber Odin attacks Odin the big bad knight right ah. yes Santi's horse all right 
Well, Odin, I hate to do this to you, buddy, but uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna whoop you. Four thousand, yeah. He's he's a pushover. Probably got some one big massive attack, and that's it. Uh, I'll try arrow and. Uh, I don't think Arrow's going to do much. Eh, 722. That's not bad. Yeah, this one. That's that's what I was looking for. Not a lot of damage. So, yeah, this was uh, something that I probably could have handled a lot earlier. That's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing I could have handled this way earlier. He's got a lot of health, but he doesn't hit very hard. Wow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nasty, nasty, Kaylee. Nasty spell. Lazaga did it, man. There we go, there we go, there we go. My strength is yours to command, Warriors of Light. Chain Catastrophe. Catastrophe. That's what it's called, Catastrophe. How do I even get over there, man? Look. Oh well. Alright, we're gonna turn those off. But let me see if there's something to do with these. No. That's hoping maybe. Alright, let's get on out of here. I don't want to teleport out because I feel like it's gonna put me on land and I won't be able to get my Nautilus back, so. I doubt I'll need my Nautilus for anything else, but I'm still not gonna take that chance. Hover, let's go. Go back over here and get our other airship. And uh, get the heck out of here. Go back to the circus tower. All right, here we are, ready to get our upgraded summons, hopefully. What can I do for you? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Six, seven, and eight, huh? Alright, thank you. Let's see here. Whoop. Now that we've got those... Now that we've got those summons, it's time to go after Zand. And I'm going to equip those, uh, you know, switch around things, get the evoker all set up and ready to go. In case I need it. But otherwise I'm sticking with the party I've got now. To so come back in the next video. And we'll go after Zand in the Crystal Tower. And see if uh, that will end it. Or if there's further things we gotta do that I don't know yet. We'll see. <laughs>